Well, you've joined with the New River, not Rogers Workforce Development Board. This is Sharon Lehman speaking, and I will be guiding you through the uh, account creation process to be able to sign in and participate in our virtual career fairs that will be held throughout the region. So the first thing that you want to do is go to our virtual career fair platform. That platform is going to be located at www.knowledge2work.com and that URL is spelled K-N-O-W-L-E G, excuse me, D G E T O W O R K dot C O M. So when you first get to our to our virtual career fair platform, this is the page that you're going to see. Don't think you've gone to the wrong place. There's nothing here that indicates that you are at a virtual career uh, fair platform, but this is in fact what we're using. So uh, Knowledge to Work is not exclusively a virtual career fair platform. It also houses uh, open educational resources that are accessible by our adults who want to gain some skills um, for gaps that they might have in skills for jobs that they're applying for. Um, it also helps adults who are currently working gain some new skill sets so that they can make advancements in their career. But today we're going to exclusively talk about the virtual career platform options that are available in this site. So to create an account, you're going to notice that there's a login button at the top and a sign up button. If you've been to this site before to use those open educational resources, please just log back in with your current credentials. However, if you've never been here before, you want to click on the sign up button. So now we're going to be directed to enter some very basic information, your name, first and last name, and you're going to be asked to put in an email address. It's important that you enter an email address that you're able to access because you're going to receive a uh, invitation to verify your account. So it's very important that you enter that email address that you're able to get into and click on that verification. Uh, you're also going to be asked to enter a zip code. The zip code becomes very important in the website because that's going to help you find businesses who are hiring within a certain radius of your zip code. It's also going to direct you to community resources that are available um, nearby, as well as some training options that you might want to take advantage of. All right, the system is going to require that you select a goal. Now, for most of you who are joining us today, your goal is to attend that virtual career fair, but you do have to select an option to be able to make an account. So if you have um, a desire to work in manufacturing, there are many jobs here listed that directly relate to the manufacturing industry and you might want to pick one of those. Or if you are interested in information technology, there are uh, jobs that are listed here uh, for the information technology industry as well as um, healthcare. However, if you are looking more generally, we are going to ask that you all select this one, which is called Framework NNVIA Common Employability Skills. That's just going to open up some opportunities for you to explore things that our employers highly value, uh, like those interpersonal skills, critical thinking skills, the ability to listen actively and respond to a very set uh, list of instructions. So that's the one that you want to select unless you already um, have a very specific occupation you're looking for. All right, the next thing you're going to do is set up your username. So I'm going to enter one here for myself. You want to, um, it says it's already taken, that might happen to you. So you just want to try something else. All right, and then set up a password that you're going to remember. Right, you are going to have to type that password again. And then you want to accept the terms and policies and verify that you are not a robot. Um, sometimes instead of a checkbox, you might see popped up here uh, a photograph and you'll be asked to select every square that contains a car or select every square that contains a bridge. Um, and if you're asked to do that, that's what you have to do. Then you just want to click on sign me up. 
And you're going to be told here in this window that we are sending you an email to verify ownership of this email address. So that might take a few minutes to come through, um, but once that email comes through, you're going to want to access your account and click on it. All right, so I'm going to show you this, um, this email in just a moment. All right, so this is what the email is going to look like when it comes to your inbox. It's going to verify that you are, you said you were, and they're going to, it's going to give you this very long URL link and you want to click on that link to be able to access your account. All right, let me share this with you all here. All right. So here we're, we're directed back to the account and we are asked to log in. So at this point, we want to put in those same credentials that we just established. And we want to log in. So it says congratulations on completing your online registration activation. And notice up here at the top, it now says log out which means that we are now logged in, our account is activated, and you can see here that I'm logged in. So I can now go to any of these uh, tools, these options that are available in the website, but I want to point out to everyone that right under this red bar, this horizontal red bar, we can kind of see a green bar that says Virtual Career Fair. And this is for the Virginia Highlands Virtual Career Fair. This is a link that will take us immediately there and I want you to notice that no matter which page I'm on, I'm going to see that banner. So it's very easy once you've created an account to be able to click on this link and, and take yourself into our virtual career fair. So once you click on that link, you should see the icon, the image that we've been using to market our virtual career fair locally, and you are ready to begin. Uh, you'll just simply scroll down on this page and you'll be able to see many of the businesses who are taking part in our virtual career fair. So I hope this has helped you. Thank you very much. You have been with the New River Mount Rogers Workforce Development Board, and we look forward to seeing you at the job fair.